what are the two important manifestations of congenital rubella syndrome one is salt and paper retinopathy as well as blueberry muffin rash how do we diagnose congenital rubella syndrome in newborn if there is a presence of iga antibodies in fetal blood it is diagnostic of congenital rubella syndrome as iga antibody do not cross placenta Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn many important one-liners as well as MCQs for congenital rubella syndrome in reference to NEET PG. Do not skip anything. Watch till the end. Hi, I am Dr. Triya Virani Malde, pediatrician and consultant neonatologist. I'll be your guide for pediatric subject. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and give like to this video. because it really motivates me when i see likes on my video it is also known as a german measles it is highly teratogenic it included under the agents causing intrauterine infection called torch complex so let's start with the questions what is the other name of congenital rubella syndrome one of the neat pg it was asked as greg syndrome and it was nothing but the congenital rubella syndrome correct answer is greg syndrome it's a rna virus belong to family togaviridae which is the most severe form of the intrauterine infection is it rubella toxo hsv or mumps the correct answer to this question is option a rubella is the most severe form of the intrauterine infection transplacental spread is the least associated with which of the following intrauterine infection options are rubella toxo hsv or mumps here the correct answer is option c hsv it is the least associated with in which trimester of pregnancy congenital rubella syndrome is very severe first trimester second trimester third trimester both a and b that is both first and second trimester here the question is in which trimester if mother gets infected the congenital rubella syndrome is very severe here the correct answer is option a first trimester here is the few numbers which need to be remembered by you that if the mother acquired the infection before the 11 weeks of the gestation then 90% defects are present from the congenital rubella syndrome if between 11 to 12 weeks it is 33% if 13 to 14 weeks it is 11% defect so as the week passes the less chances of congenital rubella syndrome is there all of the following statement about the congenital rubella syndrome is true except igg persists for more than 6 months igm antibody present at birth most common anomalies are deafness and heart defects increased risk of congenital malformation if infection occurs after 16 weeks we all know igg persists for longer period so this is correct 6 months igm present at the birth is also correct common anomalies are deafness and heart defect that we are going to learn in subsequent just now we have discussed that if infection occur before the 11 weeks it is very severe so here the answer is option d the following age group is the most affected by congenital rubella syndrome female age 25 to 35 young girl adolescent girls and unborn child we need to remember this that here the option c is correct adolescent girls acquired most of the time rubella infection 3 years old boy present with fever with rash and forsheimer spots as demonstrated in the picture which could be the probable diagnosis measles congenital rubella syndrome rubella infection or it is rosella infantum here the correct answer is rubella infection so four shimer spots are red spots on the heart palate and it is seen in rubella infection so what is tried of rubella syndrome we need to remember ccd cafe coffee day c stands for congenital heart disease in this also a very important question double star mark which is the most common cardiac defect seen in congenital rubella syndrome the most common is pda after that peripheral pulmonary stenosis then vst and the least common is ast c is stands for cataract and d stands for deafness this is also known as a greg stride one of the time in neat pg it was asked as what are the component of greg stride greg stride said nothing but congenital rubella syndrome triad and this greg triad stand for pda nuclear cataract and hearing loss deafness is the most common manifestation of crs most common manifestation as well as most common presentation of congenital rubella syndrome the next question is which is, which is the most common congenital heart disease in rubella syndrome this we have already discussed is it pda vst ast or stenosis if all options are given we need to choose in this sequence pda 
more than pulmonary peripheral pulmonary c stenosis more than vsd more than asd so here the correct answer is pda which is the least common this is also once asked so it is also double star mark list common congenital heart disease in rubella syndrome pda vsd asd or pulmonary stenosis correct answer is list common is asd which is the most common component of congenital rubella syndrome which is the most common component of congenital rubella syndrome is it pda deafness pulmonary stenosis or cataract it is most common commonly seen here the correct answer is deafness we have just now discussed most common component also and most common manifestation also congenital rubella syndrome will have microcephaly or macrocephaly we all know it will have microcephaly by definition it is less than minus 3 standard deviation for the age and gender these are two important manifestation of rubella syndrome one is salt and pepper retinopathy as blueberry muffin rash how to diagnose congenital rubella syndrome usually we need to do igm antibody in the fetal blood it do not cross placenta so if there if they are present it means it is suggestive of crs as well as virus isolation and pcr so these are the early manifestation of congenital rubella syndrome these three are very important these make a triad of ccd hemolytic anemia as well as uh, there are few other uh, features by which the newborn can present or infant can present to a pediatrician that is hemolytic anemia thrombocytopenia purpura or petechia intellectual disability hepatosplenomegaly as well as hepatitis newborn can have iugr low birth weight as well as microcephaly at the time of birth presence of bone lesion and meningoencephalitis however the late on onset manifestations could be hearing loss intellectual disability diabetes mellitus thyroid dysfunction as well as extra medullary hematopoiesis so that's all about congenital rubella syndrome i hope you all understood and learned well your suggestions are always welcome for the improvement as well as what else you would like to learn from me please write in the comment box till that time take care of yourself study hard study smart